SML Wiki got a brand new update today, and it lets you burn custom CDs to use on the radio so that you can listen to your favorite tunes while exploring the website. One cool feature about the radio is that when music is playing out of it, the normal music on the website becomes muted. So you can have your own background music while you read or play mini games without needing to mute the browser window. If you get lost following this tutorial, simply memorize the URL to this video and you can come back to it later. In this tutorial, I'll be walking you through the steps to burn a CDR using DBurner, a new app for the laptop. If you've already bought the laptop from Jerry's Crap Shack, all you need to do is buy a few more items and then you can get started. Let's head over to Jerry's Crap Shack. Firstly, be sure you've bought the radio. Now, let's buy some discs. There are six colors of discs to choose from. If you want a particular color, just refresh the page. Jerry's CDR stock depletes after three. You can buy as many of those as you want at once without needing to use them right away. Once you've bought a disc, or a few discs, they'll appear next to the laptop. Simply select the disc out of the stack and drag it onto the tray of the computer, where you can push it down to insert it. Something you may notice about DBurner is that it's freeware. This means it's free to use and will never ask you for a license key or warn you that a trial is soon to end. This is thanks in part to the sponsors of the program, which you may see frequently. All right, time to select my favorite songs. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Now, you may notice that if a song you selected is longer than 69 seconds, the program will notify you that the audio is too long to burn to this kind of disc. It will ask you if you want to cancel that song or have the program trim it automatically for your convenience. You've probably also noticed that the are on these discs is pretty limiting. Jerry stocks his shelves with GD-1703616-11 homocolored hyphen micro disc meant for storing singles and EPs or to be used as promotional discs. Not really the best for burning full-length songs or albums, but can't argue with free! Once you're ready to burn the disc, just hit the burnination button in the bottom right hand corner. Once it's done, you can return to the main menu, click the radio, and you should see your new custom CD as a selectable icon. Pretty spiffy. Oh, and I almost forgot. You can get yourself an achievement for burning a disc too. It's as simple as that. If you got stuck on a step that you can't revert or damaged your disc in the burning process, simply go back to Jerry and request a new disc. If you explain the situation to him, he'll recycle your old one. You'll have to start over for that disc though, because the program won't retain data once it's terminated. This is a privacy measure. For your convenience. Happy spending!